Hi everyone, I'm Hoodie Angel Brandon, and today we are taking a look at and reacting to the Pokemon uh, conference uh, live stream. Not to be confused with the uh, Pokemon Direct that they announced around the same time, which is expected to cover more actual stuff on Sword and Shield. This will probably have more like spin off y type stuff. Uh, which, not as exciting, but still interesting. So uh, we're going to give it a watch, and uh, hopefully we see some cool stuff. All right, looks like it's starting. Just gonna turn the volume up a little bit. I guess I could use this. Uh. All right, let's -a go. Okay, I was gonna say, what are they not gonna have any uh, translation? I'd still watch it without translations. I did that for the very first Fey channel, but I do prefer to be able to understand what they're saying. Thank you for taking the time to attend today's Pokemon business strategy announcement. Today, I would like to reveal some upcoming Pokemon projects that we are working on with our partners to give you a preview of the future of Pokemon. People have mentioned a new mystery dungeon, that'd be really cool. Or just, just, just re-release Explorers of Sky, that'd be cool. I'd buy it. さて、プロジェクトの発表に入る前に、先ほどから、お聞きの通り、本日の発表は日本語、英語に新たに中国語を加えました。今後、中国語を as you can already tell, our announcements today will be made not just in Japanese and English, but also in Chinese. This is because going forward, we plan to deliver more of our services to Pokemon fans who are native speakers of Chinese. I think that was like a big thing for Sun and Moon, was that they were having like a Chinese uh, translations, I think. I don't remember. Sun and Moon feels like a really long time ago, but it really wasn't. <laughs> for the rest of today's presentation, we will switch to simultaneous translation. First, I would like to talk about movies, including right. Pokemon's first Hollywood movies. film. Detective Pikachu is actually pretty Allow good uh, Mr. from someone who doesn't really like movies. <laughs> uh, I actually liked it. Uh, I actually kind of want to talk about a Pokemon movie sometime. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. I'm Matsuoka from Toho. This is a bit of a sudden announcement, but the day after tomorrow, assuming the motion is approved, I will be appointed as an external board member to the Pokemon Company's board of directors. Congrats. I look forward to working more closely with the company. I don't know who that is, though. <laughs> as you all know, Detective Pikachu De debuted in theaters on May 3rd. He's so cute. And has received a lot of I was, I was not into the realistic style at first, but he Japanese actually is, it, it, he turned out really cute. Right there with Godzilla in terms of box office success. <laughs> Toho Toho was an investor in the Detective Pikachu project and we also handled the distribution in Japan. We have this summer's movie coming up. And we look forward to take on new creative challenges alongside Pokemon and the movie business in the future. 
And while I shouldn't be promoting the new Godzilla movie here today, for those who want to see Ken Watanabe on the big screen again, I hope you will find your way to theaters starting the day after tomorrow. Thank you. Back to you, Mr. Ishihara. Uh, Mr. Masoka, thank you. That wasn't terribly interesting. <laughs> it was nice of you to so casually insert that bit of news that was so completely <laughs> unrelated to Pokemon. Thank you. Setting Godzilla aside, the Detective Pikachu movie was based on a Nintendo 3DS game of the same name. I didn't play that one. One of the three companies involved in the original creation of Pokemon, called Creatures, developed it. The 3DS game story ended on... A Are they going to announce uh, the sequel? But the conclusion on the Switch. The story will finally be coming to Nintendo Switch. It, that's not super unexpected, but I hope fans I'm kind of surprised that it's the that they're announcing it like this the soon after the movie just came out. Uh, recently, at Chiangai Airport in Singapore, which is one of the premier airports in Asia, a massive commercial facility called Jewel was opened. Within Jewel, we opened Pokemon Center Singapore. This store represents our flagship location in the region. Oh, it's a Rowlet! Pokemon Centers. I want that big Rowlet. For Pokemon products. He's so adorable. They represent fun spaces for Pokemon fans to gather and enjoy a variety of software and hardware services. To tell you more about future initiatives for Pokemon Center, I would like to invite the president of Pokemon Center, Mr. Uego, onto stage. I'm Uego from Pokemon Center. Today's conference is being held in the Shibuya district of Tokyo which is a major cultural center of Japan and world-renowned tourist destination. I think this is more like for like investors and stuff and like the business side of things, which is why it's not as interesting to me, but, uh, you know, news is news. It's cool to see. But it is a little slow. This new Pokemon Center is being built under a new concept that merges Pokemon with the latest technology and with support from other partners will surely become not just a place to shop, to shop but an exciting destination for Pokemon fans to visit. Please take a look at the short video that shows off the concept. As you can see in the video, the new location will feature a I do like the style of it. with a Mewtwo statue positioned at the entrance. That looks slick. We look forward to delivering a new Pokemon Center experience that visitors will want to tell their friends and family about, and also I'd, I'd like to visit that. Enriching relationship with the town of Shibuya and the Shibuya I just like the, the aesthetic of that. That's it from Pokemon Center. Looks Thank really you, clean. Thank you. Give us designs like that for Animal Crossing, please. In the same Shibuya Parko shopping center in which we are opening our Pokemon Center, it was recently announced that there are plans for a Nintendo Tokyo store to open. We want Nintendo Tokyo and Pokemon Center Shibuya to be good partners and are working on collaborations to provide even more better experiences to customers of both locations. With Pokemon Center and Nintendo Tokyo, we look forward to seeing Shibuya Parko become a destination for fans of video games to gather and enjoy great experiences. I'd like to invite our next guest on stage, Mr. Ethan Wong from NetEase. I've Wong never heard of NetEase. NetEase is the second largest game developer in the world with 
an annual active user base of over 550 million globally. Since 2001, NetEase has developed over 200 games in multiple genres with massive popularity. Up to this April, four of the top 10 most popular games in China are made by NetEase. Since the very beginning, we've always been dedicated to creating the best and innovative games for game lovers. Today, we are honored to announce that we are releasing the first official Pokemon games in China, Pokemon Quest. Pokemon Quest? Already Quest talked Quest. about that one. Spoiler, I didn't really Pokemon like it. Pokemon Quest China will preserve the core experience of the okay. global version while adding PvP and social system. I think I still have it installed on my Switch just because I'm too lazy to go into go in and delete it. <laughs> but I haven't touched it since I finished my review for it. That was a year ago. Wow. Wow, that was a while ago. I don't even know how PvP would work for that. That'd be weird. The moves are random. Please. They want you to spend money. Don't spend money. Thank you, Mr. Ethan Wong. The development of this powered-up version of Pokemon Quest is progressing at a speed I haven't seen before in Japan, and I continue to be amazed by NetEase's technical ability. And they all love Pokemon, too, making this very much a, a passion project for the team. At Pokemon, we believe we have found a great partner with NetEase. Allow me to welcome another guest for our next announcement. Hello everyone, I'm Masuda from Game Freak. Today, I'm here to talk about the future of Pokemon. Is cancelled. Pokemon was born as a <laughs> video game for the Game Boy and has evolved into a wide variety of content beloved by trainers all around the world. With the release of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee for Nintendo Switch, as well as Pokemon I was going to play Go just to get the Meltan, but then I was too lazy to install it on my phone, so it didn't happen. ...who are experiencing Pokemon for the very first time. As a result, in recent years, the world of Pokemon has become broader than we could have ever imagined before. On that note, can we transfer Pokemon from Let's Go to Sword and Shield, please? Time, I need to keep my... My 6 IV ditto, please. ...from Game Boy Advance to Nintendo DS, and also on to Nintendo 3DS using the connectivity features to bring their Pokémon with them on adventures through various Pokemon Bank for Switch. along the way. These Pokémon exist beyond just a single game or hardware device and have become irreplaceable to their trainers. Especially my 6 IV ditto. ...special relationship is something unique to the Pokemon world. With so many different parts of this Pokemon world, we wanted to make a single location where they could all come together and use that to deliver a new experience that not only connects Pokemon with a variety of games, but also pl connects players with each other. We're calling it Pokemon Home. Okay. The concept behind Pokemon Home is to be a place where all Pokemon can gather. We're developing it as a cloud service that will work with smart right. devices and Nintendo Switch. And it will allow you to bring over the Pokemon that have shared in your adventures. On Nintendo 3DS, we created... Okay, so it looks like those arrows, because Sword and Shield has one going both ways, it looks like you can send them to and from Sword and Shield, but the others only go one way to home. And then from home to Sword and Shield. 
game to leave behind the boundaries of a single system and allow for players to connect with Pokemon Bank, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, the upcoming Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games, and also Pokemon Go. Yes. And we will, of course, take, care, take great care to preserve the value that each of these Pokemon have to their trainers. And in the future, the content in which you can play with your Pokemon will continue to expand even further. Pokemon Home will also feature trading functionality, allowing you to trade anytime, anywhere, as long as you have your smartphone okay. with you. Trade with your friends face to face. I'll never trade with anyone. <laughs> or with anyone else from around the world, over the internet. Getting a large number of people in a single location together to trade all at once is another cool feature we're looking into implementing. Just let me have my 6 IV ditto in Sword and Shield. 2020? Place where all ah. Well, I guess that makes kind of sense. Sword and Shield will probably be like November-ish. And Bank never got its update until like a few months later for the new games. So, okay, that kind of makes sense, but... Mm. We also plan to reveal more news about Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield on June 5th there we next go. week at 6 a.m. on Pacific, Six Pacific Time and a special Pokemon Direct, so please do not miss it. I think that's 7 for me. Gross. Thank you, Mr. Masuda. Next, uh, please take a look at this video. Oh, cool. Oh, does it just go? It's just go, I don't really care. I'm American, so com kilometers don't mean anything to me. I'm sure this number is impressive, but it means nothing. <laughs> Pokemon made walking into entertainment. Our daily life has become more colorful, active, and fulfilling. But this is just the beginning. Pokemon could enrich our everyday lives even further. Wow, that sounds like something right out of Detective Pikachu. <laughs> Is that Pokewalker? Or like the, yeah, the Pokewalker Plus? <laughs> Sleeping? What? What? As you could see from the video, it looked like the Poke Walker the from Heart Gold Soul Silver. Themes of Pokemon Go, and through that game, Pokemon trainers all around the world began to spend more time walking outdoors. Oh, you're trying to trick me into going to bed at a normal hour. That's not going to happen, okay? I've got to be up at walking and turn it one one o'clock for Fire Emblem Heroes reset, okay? I can't go to sleep at a normal time. After walking, we decided to focus on the act of sleeping. Weird. Just weird. Everyone spends a large part of their lives sleeping, and turning that into That's entertainment a lie. is our next challenge at Pokemon. Today... I would like to talk a little bit about how Pokemon plans to take on this task. First, I would like to announce that we are developing a new game called Pokemon Sleep that uses your time spent sleeping to affect gameplay. No, <laughs> the game I'd be too far behind. With the help of Select Button, who developed Pokemon Magikarp Jump. The concept of this game is for players to look forward to waking up every morning. Well, if you're not hoping to dine your sleep, that's something you already do every day, so... ...utilizes information such as the player's time spent sleeping or the time they wake up to create a new kind of entertaining gameplay. 
We plan to release Pokemon Sleep in 2020. Weird. Separately from Pokemon Sleep, we are also working alongside Nintendo and Niantic to find more ways to turn resting into gameplay. First, let's have Nintendo come on stage to tell us more about a new device that they are working on. Please welcome Mr. Mariyama from It's Nintendo. just a switch that doubles as a pillow. I might buy that, actually. <laughs> I should, I should make switch pillowcases. Those would be awesome. I'm Mariyama from Nintendo. I'm in charge of device development. Do you all remember this device? Yeah, I remember people were going crazy about it. And then they were just collecting dust on shelves a long time afterwards. Back in 2016, like a month Pokemon later. Pokemon Go Plus was developed as a device to be used with Pokemon Go. It was made to enhance the Pokemon Go experience. And many trainers out there continue to enjoy using it to this day. I believe that it has helped many players be more active in their Pokemon Go adventures. Yes, I remember your overpriced year, Mew. We released the Pokeball Plus device, which included all of the Pokemon Go Plus functionality. Could also be used as could also be used with Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee on Nintendo Switch as a controller. It also allowed trainers to put their favorite Pokemon inside the device and take them for walks. It let us deliver a gameplay experience across multiple hardware platforms. Show me the Switch pillow. Pokemon's initiative to turn sleep into entertainment is one we support at Nintendo, and we are developing a new device for it that we're calling Pokemon Go Plus Plus. A plus name, guys. After we finished development of the Pokeball Plus, Mr. Ishihara approached us with a new idea and we began working on it together. As you can probably tell from the name, this device can also be used as a standard Pokemon Go Plus device. Does it work as a Joy-Con though? Pokemon Go Plus while you're walking about during the day to be notified of nearby Pokestops via the LED and vibrations. And at night, you can put it on your bed and it will track simple information about how long you sleep. That's unsettling. This is accomplished by the embedded accelerometer and the results are sent to your smartphone via Bluetooth technology. You don't need my sleep data, okay? We'll just sell it to the government. By combining these sleep tracking features with the functionality of a Pokemon Go Plus, this device can help transform both the time spent walking about during the day and also the time spent sleeping at night into something more fun and enriching for everyone. That's all from Nintendo for today. Back to, back to you, Mr. Ishihara. Thank you, Mr. Mariyama. We also believe there are opportunities to incorporate resting into the gameplay of Pokemon Go to make it a more fun and fulfilling experience, and we're working with Niantic to explore new ideas. Let's have Niantic CEO, Mr. John Henke, talk more about their involvement. I hate, like, the recent trend toward games, like, trying to tell you, hey, it's been a while, you should take a break. I hate that. 
I want to play a game. I don't want to be. I don't want to turn it on for like ten minutes and then be like, oh, take a break, take a break. Niantic pioneered a new kind of gaming by turning the whole world into a game board where we can all play and explore. By creating a new way to see the world and an incentive to go outside and exercise, we hoped to encourage a healthy lifestyle and to make a positive impact on our players and on the world. No. We're delighted to be working with the Pokemon Company on their efforts to encourage another part of a healthy lifestyle, getting a good night's rest. At Niantic, we love exploring the world on foot. And that can't happen unless we have the energy to embark on these adventures. We're excited to find ways to reward good sleep habits in Pokemon Go as part of a healthy lifestyle. You'll be hearing more from us on this in the future. There's one more thing. Some of you may have noticed that Snorlax is particularly excited about this development. So excited that he's decided to take a nice, relaxing nap. Look around in Pokemon Go, and you may find a snoozing Snorlax just waiting to be collected. But don't wait too long. Once Wrap our sleeping Snorlax wakes up, he may disappear. That's it from Niantic on the subject of sleep. You had back to you, Mr. so little to say in so many words. Maybe I'm just Thank being you, too, too, too uh, negative, but... I feel like he said absolutely nothing there. John just said something about a sleeping Snorlax in Pokemon Go. And some of you there may be ready to pull out your smartphones right now to check it out, but please let me have your attention for just a little bit longer. I'm sure that by the end of our presentation today, Snorlax will start appearing in the game. Our mission at the Pokemon Company is to enrich both the real world and the virtual world with Pokemon characters. With that in mind, after having done so with walking, we now turn our focus to make sleeping more enriching for everyone. We want to turn sleep into ter entertainment. That's all for our sleep-related initiative. For our final announcement today, I would like to show off just a little bit more of the project that DNA recently announced we are working on together. I haven't been following any of this, so I don't know the what this is. The title is Pokemon Masters. Huh. This All right, project it's a bunch of champions. I've never seen this, so. Began with oh, it's got Rosa, though. Game Freak's Ken Sugimori Rosa's cool. To make a game that featured all of the past and present Pokemon trainers from the video games. Ken Sugimori also created this key art that represents the concept of the game. In Pokemon Masters, all of your favorite Pokemon trainers, as well as their partner Pokemon from the main series RPGs will appear. Development is still underway, but please take a look at some gameplay footage. Bonjour. That was and they said a little bit of footage. <laughs> that was a very little bit of footage on Android and iOS. That doesn't look Bad. In calendar year, I'd maybe try that. I'd need to see more, though. We plan to reveal more details in June next month. So please wait just a little bit longer while we prepare our announcement. So, what did you think? Mm. 
And there's one more small thing I'd like to share with you all. All of today's presenters, including myself, are wearing what we call Pokemon shirts. I'm also wearing a Pokemon shirt. The first 151 Pokemon that Pokemon Go also began with are featured in original fabric designs. These designs Call me when you got the mini or shirt. Mixed and matched on a website to customize and order your very own shirt with this Pokemon shirts service. And this is these are some of the shirts that were made. Currently, this service began in Japan and is available in uh, only select Asian territories. However, starting with North America and Europe, we plan to expand it to more regions around the globe. Please look forward to further details to be announced at a later date. And for everyone here in attendance today, we also prepared a small souvenir using the Pokemon shirt's designs. So please pick it up on your way out. Today, in order to give you a sense of what lies in Pokemon's future, we announced some projects that are still in development or planning phases. We will reveal more details about each project separately, so please look forward to hearing more about each individual project at a later date. That's all for our announcements today. Thank you very much. All righty. Um, so, yeah, like I said, I wasn't expecting anything, like, super big, uh, since I was more of a businessy investors type uh, presentation. I wasn't expecting anything too crazy. Uh, but I, I was, eh, it was okay. Uh, a lot of, I was hoping for like maybe a, a spin-off game for Switch. Well, I guess we technically got that with Detective Pikachu 2, but there wasn't even any gameplay footage. So it's kind of hard to get super excited for that. Uh, and then we got those, the mobile stuff. Uh, but definitely the most interesting thing was the Pokemon Home uh a way to bring all these Pokemon together, which, I mean, you'd think they'd just update Pokemon Bank to work with, like, mobile and Switch, but I guess it needs its own thing. Uh, I don't know the software behind it. Maybe it's maybe it's too hard to make it connect to that. I don't know. Uh, but basically, just anything that lets me put my other Pokemon that I've caught on to Sword and Shield will be good in my book. Uh... Just, just hoping that I can actually put Ditto, my my six IV Ditto that I caught on Let's Go into home and then move it to uh, uh, Sword and Shield. That's that's all I want. I want easy, perfect eggs. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, anyway, what did you guys think? Uh, were you did you see anything that really hyped you up, uh, or are you just holding out for that actual Pokemon Direct? Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, this is Hoodie and Brennan, signing out.